Hello, my name is Sabrina de los Santos and I'm a research associate at Turk, a nonprofit based in Cambridge, Massachusetts in the United States. We are made up of teams of math and science education and research experts dedicated to innovation and creative problem solving. Today, I will be presenting on our CompuPower project findings. Our presentation is titled Student-Centered Projects, Rural High School Students Leading Projects in Technology, Identity, and Social Justice. I am presenting this project on behalf of our Turk CompuPower research team now, while Turk focused on the student research aspect of the project, this project was originally developed by Arizona State University's team, and it was funded by the Department of Education. The project was conducted in Arizona, which you can see here with the green arrow in the southwestern part of the United States. To give you a sense of what is CompuPower, it's a student-centered program that integrates computer technology. And these are things like computing programs, such as HTML, graphic design, such as creating logos, video editing software. It also has identity exploration activities where students get to understand each other more deeply through creating collages and having discussions with classmates and understanding their classmates' identities, as well as community outreach projects where students work in groups to develop projects around issues that were important to them and that affected their communities. CompuPower in this way addresses the shortage of culturally responsive STEM courses that ensure rural high school students feel a connection to, the, to their curriculum and a sense of belonging in tech spaces. So here are some examples from student work. I want you to imagine walking into a high school classroom where students are working in teams on projects about a wide range of social issues. Some students are creating a flyer, like the one you see on the screen, to gather, a, to gather a group of community members and create awareness about composting. Another group is developing a survey and online resources to raise awareness around teen mental health. And these are both flyers that our students developed at the CompuPower program. What do students learn in CompuPower? So as part of the curriculum, students talk openly about who they are and how their intersectional identities relate to their interests, values, and positions of powers in society. They talk about how their projects could influence their schools and their communities, and they learn to use different technologies like video editing software, coding and presentation programs to research, develop, and disseminate their work. The teacher, acts as a facilitator guiding the students through these activities in the CompuPower program, yet the students are deciding how to present themselves, what projects to work on, how to divide their work, and what to prioritize. As mentioned earlier, CompuPower was conducted in Arizona. It was also implemented at six rural high schools outside of Phoenix, Arizona. So CompuPower had two cohorts. Cohort one was from 2019 to 2020, and cohort two did the program from 2020 to 2021. During this talk, we're gonna focus on cohort two, which did the program more recently. A total of 146 students participated in CompuPower in 10th and 11th grade. And this was the first computing course for most of these students. So we wanted to conduct a retrospective qualitative study about the experiences and project choices of rural students who participated in the Arizona State University CompuPower program. We did some literature reviews um, that focus on student-centered learning using technology. And we found that in many of these studies, when students take autonomy of their learning and responsibility for their own learning, they build different skills related to teamwork, critical thinking, communication, information access, and technology. They don't not only gain skills, but they also enhance their confidence, their empathy towards others, and they increase their interest in academic endeavors. And in fact, there were some studies that also mentioned how teachers viewed students more positively when they were um, focused on projects that they were leading and really passionate about. 
Our research questions were related to what technical skills the students learn during CompuPower and what non-technical skills the students learn during CompuPower. So we collected data from 13 high school students who participated in cohort two. We had a larger data set, but we're gonna focus on these students. These students were between the ages of 15 and 16 years old, and they attended five rural schools from the six that where the project was conducted. So we collected data by doing one hour interviews with the students through full photo elicitation methods. And that means that we were, while we were doing the interview, we were showing the students work that they completed during the program. For example, their collages, their presentations about their, their group work projects, uh, their logos, and different work that would help them remember the program and elicit some memories and help them respond to our interview questions. For our data analysis, we developed a code book with deductive quotes from Dr. Scott's CompuGirls research, which was research used to develop the CompuPower program. And we also derived some inductive quotes identifying new patterns and themes that came up during our student interviews. During the interviews, all students talked about some form of technological tool or skill that they gained or honed when participating in the program. And here you can see some of their quotes. Um, down here, you'll see an example of a homepage of a website some students created during the program. Some students mentioned learning about technology and its relation to other topics, such as race and computers. When we asked one of the students about the two most important things that they learned in CompuPower, Rosie, who identified as white, mentioned this. I think a big one that actually stuck with me was AI, artificial intelligence, and race. That was something that I had never heard about before, even in all the research that I've done. I am pretty Eurocentric, so I've never been like, oh, okay, this isn't picking up my features. Aside from technology skills, CompuPower was also a space for students to gain social skills and other non-technical skills when working with others, to get to know themselves and others more deeply. Sky, a student who identified as Latina and described herself as shy and nervous, talked about getting a better understanding about her whole self during the program. She said, I think it's about your own personal life and how you view yourself as a person. How do you learn to help yourself and view yourself now differently in a way? Another student, Talia, who identified as biracial, mentioned learning to speak more powerfully and clearly so you can actually reach others and have others hear you. A student named Venus who identified as white talked about learning skills like working with a new partner, being fair when assigning tasks, and making sure that they could work things out when they didn't see eye to eye while developing their final project. She mentioned, I definitely think that working with my partner on the group project helped me figure out how to work in a bigger environment with more people. And here we see an example from Armando who did not specify his uh, racial or ethnic identity. He, his group led a teen mental health project and they created an anti-depression website where students could find information about how to tell if someone's depressed and how to offer help. And so he said, we felt like there wasn't enough being done to help. We felt like the students were alone. Some people don't have anybody. We told the teachers and basically taught them how to be somebody for them. We believe that it's important to promote project topics that center marginalized identities and community values, which is central to the students learning. And we also believe that engaging in activities that encourage students to understand each other more deeply and become peer mentors do foster collaboration, empathy, and self-confidence and help students succeed on a personal, academic, and professional level. We would like to thank everyone who made this project possible. Here are our references. We would really like to thank you for the time you took to view this video. We have a short, very short feedback form with just a few questions. If you would like to reach out to us, give us feedback about our project, about talk about projects that are similar that you're working on and give us your contact information to stay in touch. Uh, of course, you can always email us. Here's our list of emails for our Turk team. And thank you once again. Have a wonderful day.